All right, class, settle down, settle down. And make sure you take some notes as this will be on the midterm exam. Today's lesson is about how to make cheap DIY LED spotlights. These are what I use on every tombstone in my yard haunt cemetery scene. The materials you'll need are five or 10 millimeter pre-wired LED light bulbs, a three quarter inch 90 degree bell end elbow, schedule 40 conduit gray type. You could also use half inch if you're so inclined. A three quarter white PVC end cap from the plumbing aisle. Now I bought these years ago, so I'm pretty sure it's three quarter. Bring the elbow over to the aisle and test the cap to see if it will fit in the bell end snugly. You'll also need quick wire strippers, electrical solder, electrical tape, a solder station or solder iron. And of course, you'll need some wire. I use solid core 20 or 24 gauge. Never use stranded wire for outdoor use as it gets corroded and breaks easily. I've replaced mine dozens of times until I finally switched over to solid core. We'll start out by turning on the solder station or plugging in your solder iron to warm up. I will cut a three foot section of wire, strip the coating off the end of the solid core, use quick strippers as it's so much easier and will save you so much time. Just spend the extra few dollars. Strip off the ends of the LED bulb wires if needed. You only need to expose about a quarter inch. Feed the LED wires through the pre-drilled hole in the PVC end cap. Use easy hands to clamp in the black wire from the LED bulb. Use the other easy hand to clamp in the white solid core wire, which will be the negative. Move the white wire to the black wire and then maneuver them around until they touch. We'll need to tin the tip of the soldering iron, then touch the tip of the soldering iron to the bottom of the wires and then, then touch the top of the wire with the solder. The solder should then melt onto the wires. You may need to use the soldering iron to spread the solder more evenly over the wires. Make sure that they stay connected and quickly remove the iron from the solder while holding them in place. The solder will cool immediately. So test the connection by giving the wire a little tug. Follow the same procedure with the positive wires. After you solder each wire, you need to clean the tip of the soldering iron, as the solder will build up and prevent the tip from melting new solder. Use some electrical tape to cover the exposed wire and to strengthen the connection, as well as to prevent the positive and negative wires from touching each other and canceling each other out. To protect and strengthen the connection, you could also add another piece of electrical tape around both wires. Now snake the wire through the bell end elbow and through the pre-drilled hole that's about three inches down from the bell end. Push the end cap into the bell end until it fits snugly. For each additional spot, rinse and repeat. So to conclude our lesson, the material costs for about 20 pieces is $79.03 plus tax. Cost per piece is just around four bucks. You're welcome. Class is dismissed. I'm going now. Heaven help you. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss any haunt content that is dead ahead.